if Aggie Aggie's idea of a perfect cock, this oh. is what I imagine. Oh god. Okay, not every hot girl wants a big cock. Here we go. Because um a girl wants something that they feel comfortable with to work with when it's up in their snatch and when it's up in their mouth and up in their anus if that's what they prefer. Wow. But um so I think Aggie's cock would be around, you know, a nice like, you know, six to seven inches erect. Seven. 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 She wants seven inches. Seven inches, y'all. I don't, I, I don't know. But she wants seven inches. And she wants the balls to be cleanly shaven. Not necessarily bare, oh, but at least trimmed. Because she loves the balls. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you fellas in on a little secret because she's my biffer. She tells me her thing. She wants balls to suck on. She loves the balls more than the penis and the shaft and the head all up and there. She just loves the balls. She likes to lick those testicles and take one in her mouth each time. Crazy crush on my crow. Mm mm mm. Are you guys getting turned on? Then shave your balls, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then, as with the penis, you know, clean for the pubes, trimmed. Don't let it be a wild forest down there. She doesn't want to fight her way through brambles and branches and thorns and shit. She wants a nice manly penis. You know, you know, you know, you know, Michelangelo. Was it Michelangelo who made David a statue? I think it was Michelangelo. Uh, you know, his penis is like, you know, the real deal. Because he was gay. And, no, Da Vinci. Was it Da Vinci? Was Da Vinci or Michelangelo? Who knows? Who cares? But um, they, made, they made the penis and on that statue, David. And it was the real deal. It was uncircumcised and everything. She doesn't care if, it's, if you're cut or uncut, by the way. By the by. F-Y-F. Which stands for F for your fucking. Anyway. Um... <laughs> So, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta keep clean. You know, okay, let me put it this way. Light. If you are having company coming to your place, if you're having, like, your mom or your... <laughs> Wait. This isn't a microphone. This is, um, so superstar body fragrance. It smells like a black woman. But anyway... If you won't, if you have come, if you're expecting company, your girlfriend's parents, your boyfriend's parents, relatives, whatever, you're gonna tidy up the place, right? You're gonna at least hide all the mess, do the dishes, maybe sweep the floor. So the least you can do if you expect a girl to go down on your stank ass cock, you are gonna trim those pubes and make sure your balls are rough until they're sparkling clean. <laughs> and that's all that my bitch wants. <laughs> so fellas, listen to me. There is no girl out there, no educated girl out there who is going to settle for one hairy ass dick. If you want them to go down on you, they don't want to be flossing. That's what they do in the bathroom after they brush their teeth. Do you think they want to suck your cock and find hair in their teeth and be picking all that shit out of there? If they want an extra fiber, they would buy a box of mini wheats and eat it for breakfast. So, trim those pubes, wash your balls, and then you can invite the ladies to go down on that thick, luscious cock yours. Because I know all your fellas out there have nice, big, juicy cocks full of juicy, sweet cum just waiting to come onto someone's face or into someone's mouth. You know, if that's the fantasy you want, you've got to meet the women halfway. I'm just telling you this because this is, this, 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 this is the advice I